Hi. Right. First of all, I don't know why it is, but I get a recording device in front of me and my speaking ability just goes bye bye. Okay, so what I want to do here is talk about various things involving guns. Now, this I don't mean to be comprehensive, it's sort of a uh, rambling dialogue, but you might say, um, I'm trying to speak fact to fiction the fiction that's put out by the pro-gun people. So here we go. I chose this image as a visual representation of the attitude of the ardent gun advocates in regards to the opposition. You are the enemy, so take that. In other words, they have zero interest in dialogue. For them, it is a war of words, and whatever it takes to win, they're willing to do it. Moving on, they very often claim that gun controls do not work. Now, admittedly, gun control laws are not the only factor affecting crime rates. But gun violence did take a dive after the Bradley Act of 93, which required background checks, and the assault weapons ban of 94. You know, at the very least, these gun control acts did not increase the violent crime rate. You know, the criminals did not go on a wild crime spree because of, you know, as it would suggest, a disarmed citizenry. Now, in any case, who knows how many crimes could have been prevented if these extra deadly firearms had not been allowed to enter society in the first place. Next, they have the argument that goes something like this. Since you can't specifically define assault weapons, they don't really exist. I say, oh really? Basically, assault weapons are semi-automatic civilian versions of the carbines used by the military. These guns are optimized for battlefield conditions. Among the optimizations are a forward grip, folding or collapsible stock, barrel shrouding, a mount for bayonet or grenade launcher, a flash suppressor, and quick change magazines such as this 50 round magazine shown here. Well, they seem real enough to me. You know, one does not define the cat family by a one-size-fits-all exact description, but one can, in terms of common characteristics, you know, despite the variations, identify a cat. Then, of course, the problem does not end with assault weapons. They are not the only overpowered guns out there. The assault pistol is arguably more dangerous than assault rifles because it can be more easily hidden. They too are on the banned list. And then you have sniper rifles like the Remington 700, uh, a favorite of uh, law enforcement snipers. Or the Kirkano gun as was used by Lee Harvey Oswald. These guns use large very powerful cartridges. These guns can do a lot of damage at long range. Charles Whitman used his uh, Remington 700 to kill 11 people from the Texas University Tower at a distance up to 1,500 feet. Another thing, they imply that more guns will make us safer. You know, they want guns for everybody. Everyone, everyone should be packing heat. Well, if, do, if guns did make us safer, then we, with the highest gun ownership rate in the world, should have the lowest violent crime level in the world, which we don't. Of course, they'll counter this by lying. But anyway, the truth is we have a middling rate, but it is high for advanced nations with effective law enforcement. 